Hey guys, it's your Tagan Mary and welcome back to my channel. So, maraming salamat guys for supporting our episodes every week of Tech Talk with Mary. And para sa ating pang pitong episode, we are going to talk about Spotify. Quick background lang, alam nyo, simula nung college pa lang ako, gumagamit na talaga ako ng Spotify. Hindi pa ako tech reviewer, alam ko na kung paano i-navigate yung Spotify kasi sa Spotify lang naman din ako nakikinig ng music. Kasi syempre, nung college ako, miski naman yung mga college students right now, syempre na nagtitipid, minsan ako off talaga ang dita natin. Pero gusto natin makinig ng music. Which is a really nice feature for Spotify. Because again, hindi masyadong madidrain yung battery mo kung nakuon ang data mo, di ba? And now that I am a tech vlogger, you are probably wondering, Mary, paano mo naman ginagamit ang Spotify mo? Sa mga hindi nakakakilala sa akin, I really love love music. Kahit hindi ako love ng music. <laughs> Kasi syempre hindi naman ako talented. I don't know how to sing. Wala akong alam na instruments na i-play. Pero talaga, to be honest, I can't do anything without music. Background listener kasi ako na tipo ng tao talaga na hindi kaya na maligo, na hindi nakikinig ng music. Kahit na nag edit ako, alam nyo ba guys, na gusto ko meron pa rin tumutunog ng music from Spotify sa speaker ko, tapos naka-headphones ako, at naka-off yung noise cancellation para naririnig ko pa rin kahit konti yung music sa background. And aside from that, whenever we clean here in the studio, kami ni Jason, guys, gusto namin yung vibe or yung music na tumutunog talaga. Very lively kasi ayaw namin ng, alam niyo yun, boses lang namin yung naririnig, yung vacuum, at kung ano-ano pa. Kasi we really get annoy easily. Kaya gusto namin talaga fun music yung tumutugtog sa background namin. And since we have quite a lot of tech here in the studio, we don't just play our music through Spotify sa mga smartphones. We also play it through TV. Pwede rin yan, guys. Basta kayo ay naka Android TV. We also play it here, sa laptop namin, sa tablet, and pwedeng-pwede kayo mag-download ng Spotify for free kahit na kayo ay naka-Windows pa, naka-Mac, naka-iOS, or naka-Android. Yun din kasi yung medyo maling interpretation sa Spotify. You can download it for free and you can have an account for free. And lastly, just to add, every time that I make tech reviews too, kung mapapansin nyo yung iba yung mga smartphones na nire-review ko, I make sure then that I download Spotify. Buti na lang din nga, free siya. So that whenever there is a smartphone na tinetest ko, gusto ko kasing malaman kung maganda ang audio quality niya. Sa Spotify ko rin yan madalas tinetry. So yeah, since ako ay isang background listener, I really try to match the music that I'm listening to sa ginagawa ko. So halimbawa, ako guys ay naglinis ng studio. So, every week, ginagawa ko ngayon, pumupunta ako sa mga Spotify-curated playlist that are assembled through genres, mood, moment, and events. Tapos, sobrang dami ng playlist ang lalabas. Actually, ang favorite ko nga na pakinggan ay yung Cleaning Motivation 2021 playlist. Tapos, naka-shuffle lang siya. Now, every time that I am in the shower naman, ang tinatype ko naman, guys, doon sa search bar nga sa Spotify, I just type shower. Tapos, again, marami na ang iba't ibang klase ng playlist na lalabas. And then, I just put it again on shuffle. Another cool feature that I really like about Spotify na baka hindi aware yung iba dito, gusto ko lang din i-share sa inyo. At, at hindi lang ito sa mga naka-premium accounts lang. Lahat to, guys, kahit naka-Spotify free ka, pwede rin ito. At yung kinatawag na Spotify Connect. So, while you are using your Spotify on your smartphone, you can move your music from this smartphone to your computer, to your TV, to your tablets. Basta nakakonek kayo sa iisang Wi-Fi. So, halimbawa, I'm just casually listening to music on my smartphone and I feel like you know, mas exciting at mas masarap makinig ng music on my computer since may speakers nga tayo dito. All you have to do is just click the computer icon sa pinaka lower left. It will automatically play already on this computer. At isa pa guys, kahit na nagpi-play na dito at nakaupo ka lang somewhere, pwede mo pa rin i-play, i-pause. You can choose the song you want dito sa smartphone mo. So, less hassle yun, guys. Lalong-lalo na kung medyo marami kayong gadgets sa bahay nyo or sa place nyo. And feeling ko wala pa rin masyadong nakakaalam nito. Ito yung tinatawag na sleep timer. Again, as I said earlier sa first part ng video natin, I really like to listen to music 
before sleeping. And uh, number one kinakatakutan ko dati ha guys, nung wala pa itong feature na to, eh yung makatalugan ko yung music, nagpiplay lang siya hanggang sa umaga pag gising ko, may nagpiplay pa rin ng music, and <laughs> uminat na yung smartphone natin or baka mamaya malubat agad. And this happened one too many times already before, and itong feature na to, meron na nito dati, pero hindi ko alam na meron na nito. Kaya, ayun, mukha akong mukha akong baliw, ano? Lagi akong namamatay ng phone pag gising ko lobat na. So, itong sleep timer na to, guys, we don't have to worry about pausing it before sleeping. All you have to do is open the now playing screen while listening to the songs. Tap the three dots in the upper right corner and then choose the sleep timer option. And pwede nyo iset, guys, yung timer between 5 minutes to 1 hour. Ako, usually, guys, sinaset ko yung timer ko ng 30 to 40 minutes kasi para sa akin yun yung pinaka-sweet spot. Para alam niyo, sobrang himbing na lang tulog ko. Doon pa lang siya mamamatay. Sa podcast naman, guys, actually, ito mas madali lang to. Alam naman natin na ang podcast, medyo mas maahaba talaga sila. And, madalas sa podcast rin ako nakikinig kay MKBHD sa mga episodes niya. Or kaya naman, kayla Slater Young. Simply tap the sleep timer sa pinaka-lower Right, and then, ayun, pwede nyo rin siyang i-timer from 5 minutes to 1 hour. And, yeah, speaking of podcast pala, guys, sa mga hindi nakakaalam ko ano ang podcast, kumbaga, parang nakikinig ka lang without the visuals. For me, it's like listening to a radio talk show ng paborito nating YouTuber, influencer. Ako, pa palagi kasi lang pinapakinggan sa Spotify every time na meron silang bagong episode of their podcast. And yes, with podcast, hindi mo rin kailangan ng Spotify premium account. Kahit na naka-Spotify, free ka lang, pwedeng-pwede pa rin makinig. Aside from the songs then guys that will listen in Spotify that are there, with Spotify Radio naman, it finds a similar artist sa style ng favorite artist na gusto natin. So, alimbawa ako guys, I really love listening to Taylor Swift. So, sa Taylor Swift Radio, hindi lang music niya lalabas, kung hindi sila Ed Sheeran, Miley Cyrus, Katy Perry, and many more artists na medyo similar yung style sa pinapakinggan nyo. So, yeah, that is it guys. For today's video, I really did enjoy sharing sharing with you kung ano yung mga na-discover ko through the years with Spotify. And hindi pa ako tech vlogger again. So, janti pa lang ako. Ginagamit ko na talaga siya. So, that is it for today's video, guys. Sobrang nag-enjoy talaga ako sa pag-share ko sa inyo ng naging experience ko with Spotify through the years. Yes, ganun na talaga katagal. So, janti pa lang ako. Spotify is the only app that I listen to talaga. So, yeah. Spotify, guys, is a free app that you can download both in Play Store and in App Store. Or even through your computer computers mapa Mac or Windows pa man yan. Again, maraming salamat guys for tuning in for our episode of Tech Talk with Mary. I'm sure this is still related with tech. Again, it's your tag with Mary and see you on my next video or should I say see you on our next episode. Bye guys!